Okay, I think I'm going to make a video. One will hope they're getting something. I cleaned the tank today. Well, we clean the tank every week, so that's nothing really different. But I just wanted you to see how large the fish are growing. <laughs> they're getting bigger. All my beautiful arandas. And look at how large the ballast shark is. Bell is the big one, and Beckett is smaller because he's so picky about his eating that he doesn't eat everything like she does. He waits till I put in exactly what he wants. Isn't she a beauty? Pretty, pretty shark. And there's Ariel, the biggest fish in the tank, and Oranda. And there are the black moors. Those are the largest black moors I've ever had because I never realized how much you have to change water with goldfish. For no, and now that I do, everybody's healthy and living. <coughs> That's cream. She's grown beautifully. And peppermint. Some of them have gotten large enough where I can't tell the mother from the baby. That's glacier. And then calico copper, the other one. That one's my calico. That's a fantail goldfish. He's not an orenda. And this is a uh, zephyr. A red orenda. This is the cream. I call her peaches and cream. That's what she looks like to me. She's a beautiful oranda, getting bigger and bigger. There's the two, Black Beauty and Tracer. And then Peppermint and Glacier. This one's Peppermint, who's gotten really large. A true red cap Oranda has Glacier. And then her baby is down here, Baby Brody. He's a red cap Oranda. All the rest are called red Orandas, except for her. She's a cream Oranda. <laughs> I love to watch them. Just love it. Very peaceful. They don't attack each other like the cichlids. They're just a nice group of fish. They eat a lot, too. To get a cap like that on her is really hard to do, a great big cap on that, on that fish. It takes a long time to get it. That fish must be several years old. I didn't have her for several years, but I've had her nearly a year now. She's beautiful. The star of the tank. I like the beautiful long veil tails on Orandas too. It's another reason I enjoy them so much. Those tails, are their fins just Oh, they're gorgeous, the way they swim. <laughs> they have one thought in their mind, eat, eat, eat. <laughs> Breakfast is over. It's not dinner time. And there's their pretty white sand. It's really nice for them. They can rest on the bottom. Very nice for them. And if they their balance isn't real good in Orandas and they lose their balance that way they just hit the bottom and there's no sharp edges, nothing. There's no sharp edges on these plants. Those are silk plants there. And I have taken out stones or any large things that I had for them. It just takes up room and they injure themselves on the stones. I can't have that with them. 
it's way too much too much injury for their fins. I, I have kept their fins pretty much perfect. Ah, my beauties. Yes, you're all gorgeous.